चलिए मैं रिकॉर्डिंग एक बार ऑन कर ओके ओके बाकी लोग जी आज अपने आप में दो दृष्टियों के समन्वय उनके तालमेल और उनकी शब्दावली और उनके सिद्धांतों को समझने के लिए एक्सप्लोर करने के लिए उनका विश्लेषण करने के लिए और उनके संबंधों को हम संबंधों से हम कैसे अपने आप को ज्यादा विस्तृत अपनी दृष्टि को विकसित कर सकते हैं और सूक्ष्म कर सकते हैं ताकि हमें पूरे जीवन की और पूरे ब्रह्मांड की समझने की योग्य और क्षमता है तो ये बात मैं इसके थोड़ा सा शुरू में कह रहा हूं आप लोगों के साथ साझा कर रहा हूं क्योंकि मेरे साथ जब कुछ एक लोगों ने बातचीत की और उनको लगा कि ये कर्म और कर्म सिद्धांत और क्वांटम फिजिक्स ये बहुत अलग अलग चीजें हैं और वो साइंस है और कर्म जो है वो एक अलग ही तरह की कॉन्सेप्ट है तो मेरा उनको ये उत्तर था और मैं आप लोगों के साथ भी इसीलिए ये शेयर कर रहा हूँ साझी कर रहा हूँ ये बातें कि ऐसा हमारा कोई लक्ष्य नहीं है कि हमने संस्कृत को साइंस की ही टर्मिनोलॉजी में उसको परिभाषित करना है हमारा केवल इतना लक्ष्य है कि हम संस्कृत की पृष्ठभूमि पे खड़े होकर उसके आधार भूमि पे खड़े होकर के विज्ञान की इन अवधारणाओं को इन सिद्धांतों को हम लोग कैसे देखे और समझे हैं और इसको पता नहीं पड़ा इन्हीं तथ्य को इस बात को हम थोड़ा सा ध्यान में रखें कि हम ये कोई सिद्ध नहीं करने जा रहे कि भी सब कुछ संस्कृत में था और फिर हम जो है उस संस्कृत को हम साइंस की रिप्लेसमेंट बना देंगे ऐसा करने की कोई आवश्यकता नहीं है क्योंकि वो अपनी तरह की एक संस्कृत के साथ हिंसा हो जाएगी क्योंकि संस्कृत का स्वभाव बहुत अलग है जो कि मैं आप लोगों के साथ अगली कुछ एक साइड्स में शो भी करूंगा साझा करूंगा और जो साइंस की टर्मिनोलॉजी है और सोचने का जो तरीका है वो नितान देख भिन्न तरीका लेकिन जब आप देखने लगते हैं मेरे देह का मैं क्या हूँ तो क्या मैं एक मैटर हूँ या वो एनर्जी की फॉर्म हूँ तो निश्चित रूप से आप क्वांटम पर भी आने लगते हैं आप रिलेटिविटी की थ्योरी पे भी आने लगते हैं आप क्लासिकल फिजिक्स की ओर जाने लगे हैं और साथ ही साथ आपके कर्म सिद्धांत चेतना के सिद्धांत माया के सिद्धांत सब आने लगते हैं और साथ ही साथ आपको बहुत तरह की जो बातें हैं जिन्हें हम ये कहते हैं कि जहाँ पे संशय पूरा ये जो संशय और संदेह हमारे बीच में रहते हैं उन सबको हम कैसे देखते और समझे हैं ये वो पक्ष है अब उसका एक उदाहरण मैं आपके साथ साझा कर रहा हूँ पृथ्वी तत्व है और बहत्तर परसेंट वाटर जो जल जलीय तत्व है ये परसेंटेज मैं इसको कोई ऑथेंटिकेट नहीं कर सकता क्योंकि इसका सीधा सीधा प्रत्यक्ष प्रमाण मेरे पास नहीं है लेकिन आप तो प्रमाण जरूर मेरे पास उपलब्ध है जिन लोगों ने इन तत्वों का साक्षात्कार किया तो एक दृष्टि तो ये है जिसके आधार पर आप शरीर को और सृष्टि को समझते हैं दूसरी ओर एक्स एक्सिस पे आप देखें तो विज्ञान की दृष्टि में आप 99% परसेंट ऑक्सीजन हाइड्रोजन आदि आदि हैं और बाकी जो 0.85% जिसमें सल्फर पोटाशियम वगैरह भी आता है तो ये दो दृष्टियां हैं आदमी को सृष्टि को समझने के अब इसके बीच में अगर आप देखें तो 
हम सभी का जो मूल प्रश्न है वो है कि हम अपनी शरीर अपनी उसको कैसे बनाए रखें और वो ऊर्जा कोई केवल ऊर्जा नहीं है वो निरंतर परिवर्तनशील होती हुई कभी वो सूल रूप में आती है कभी वो सूक्ष्म में चली जाती है और कभी वो चेतना के रूप में चली जाती है तो जब आप ये बातें जानते हैं और समझते हैं तो हम कैसे कहें कि हम क्वांटम की स्थिति को नहीं समझते होंगे जहां पर एटम जो है वो अणु जो है वो एनर्जी की फॉर्म में वेव की रूप में किस तरह से वो व्यवहार करेगा ये सारी बातें हम थोड़ा सा और एक्सप्लेन समझने का प्रयास करें इसके साथ एक बात और समझ लें कि जब हमें ये संदेह होने लगता है कि क्वांटम फिजिक्स में जो है वो अणु जो है वो कण जो है अणु शब्द ही है कण शब्द है वो तरंग जब परिवर्तित होता है तो उसी के लगभग समानांतर हमारे पास समझने के लिए तीन शब्द बार बार प्रयोग किए जाते हैं जिसमें होता है कि कोई भी वस्तु कोई भी पदार्थ कोई भी शक्ति में तीन परिवर्तन आते हैं आप तो केवल जो है वो कण को तरंगों के रूप में देखते हैं लेकिन उसके साथ उसमें लक्षण परिणाम अवस्था परिणाम और धर्म परिणाम ये तीनों आते हैं यानी कि कौन कौन से चेंजेस एट्रीब्यूट्स में चेंजेस आते हैं करेक्टर में चेंजेस आते हैं और स्टेट में स्टेट्स जो उस वस्तु की है उसमें चेंजेस आती है तो कम से कम किसी भी विज्ञान पढ़ाने वाले व्यक्ति को ये नहीं समझना चाहिए कि केवल वो ही वैज्ञानिक शब्दावली में बात करेंगे तभी विज्ञान बनेगा ये हमारी दृष्टि है और ये हम जो प्राइमरी लेवल पे जो उसके ग्रंथ पढ़ाए जाते हैं संस्कृत के उनमें ये बातें बताई जाती हैं ये अलग बात है कि संस्कृत के लोगों ने कभी इन चीजों को उस तरह से एक्सप्लॉयट नहीं किया जिससे कि वो प्रैक्टिस में आ जाएं और प्रैक्टिकल वो हो जाएं अब इन तीनों चीजों को समझते हुए तीनों परिणामों को जब आप समझते हैं तो आप अपनी ऊर्जा का कर्म को जब आप देखने लगते हैं तो कर्म का सामान्य रूप से हम लोग जो अर्थ समझते हैं क्योंकि जो आपने ऊपर टॉपिक देखा है शीर्षक देखा है उसमें तीन ही शब्द हैं क्वांटम फिजिक्स एंटीना और कर्म सिद्धांत कर्म को हम अक्सर कार्य कारण रूप में देखते हैं कॉज एंड इफेक्ट के रूप में देखते हैं कि जो आप करोगे वो ही आपको वापिस आएगा लेकिन हम ये कहना भूल जाते हैं कि कर्म के बीच में कब कौन से कर्म का क्या फल होगा ये कहना निश्चित नहीं है ये हम प्रिडिक्ट अभी नहीं कर सकते और दूसरी ओर जब आप क्वांटम फिजिक्स के माध्यम से बात करने लगते हैं यानी कि अनिश्चितता जो है वो बहुत महत्वपूर्ण है कर्म में ठीक है और दूसरी ओर जब आप क्वांटम फिजिक्स की दृष्टि से देखने लगते हैं जिसमें से ऑब्जर्वर का आके महत्व तो पता लगने लगता है क्योंकि उससे पहले तो ऑब्जर्वर था ही नहीं कहीं पर भी साइंस में तो उसकी दृष्टि से आप जब देखने लगते हैं तो एवरीथिंग वी कॉल रियल इज मेड ऑफ थिंग्स दैट कैन नॉट बी रिगार्डेड एज रियल तो कितनी सारी अनिश्चितता के दौर से हम निकलने लगते हैं और इस अनिश्चितता से हम सभी जो भारतीय परंपरा के लोग हैं वो सामान्य रूप से ही परिचित है अब इन दोनों के साथ साथ जो तीसरी बात है जिसके बारे में अधिकांश लोगों को नहीं पता और कर्नल साहब जो हैं वो इस सारे विषय के ऊपर विस्तार पूर्वक आप लोगों से लगभग 35 40 50 मिनट आपसे बात करेंगे तो ये एंटीनाज हैं एंटीना का मतलब जैसे आप जानते ही हैं कि वे एनर्जी रिसीव करता है और एनर्जी कम्युनिकेट करता है प्रेषित करता है अब वो एंटीनास जो हैं, ये वो एंटीनास हैं जो आपकी बॉडी के बहुत सारे जो इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक वेव्स हैं और उसमें और भी तरह की जितनी एनर्जीज हैं, उनके प्लस माइनस को बताता है उनको फिर उसमें जो करेक्टिव मेथड्स हैं, उसको इस तरह से आपने अप्लाई करना है इन सारे विषयों पर वो चर्चा कर रहे हैं इसलिए वो एंटीना जो हैं वो बड़ी यूजफुल है और ये प्रैक्टिकल सब्जेक्ट है इसलिए इन सब के बात करेंगे आमंत्रित करूं कि वो हमारे साथ ये सारी चर्चा करें देखिए क्वांटम फिजिक्स के मुख्य रूप से तीन कंपोनेंट्स होते हैं डुअल नेचर जिसे कि आप कण एवं तरंग कहते हैं पार्टिकल और वेव फिर अनसर्टेनिटी की बातें हैं अनसर्टेनिटी आपको ये पता लगा है कि मे भी और मे नॉट भी प्रोबेबिलिटी वगैरह ये सारी शब्दावली है मैंने दे रखी है आपको ताकि मुझे वो रिपीट ना करनी पड़े आप लोग पढ़ के ही आए होंगे आप लोगों ने वो सारा 
छोटा सा नोट पढ़ा होगा तो अनसर्टेनिटी और प्रोबेबिलिटी जो है वो आपको यहां देखने को मिलती है अनसर्टेनिटी क्या है कि अस्थि नास्ति है नहीं है है और नहीं है एक साथ और फिर नास्ति न नास्ति यानी कि वो नहीं है ऐसा भी नहीं और वो नहीं है ऐसा भी नहीं है तो डबल निगेशन यहाँ पे आ जाती है और फिर जब हम संभावना की बात करते हैं तो मे बी इट मे एग्जिस्ट एंड इट मे नॉट एग्जिस्ट तो आप इस दृष्टि से अगर आप देखने लगते हैं तो मुझे लगता है कि संस्कृत की दृष्टि से क्वांटम फिजिक्स को समझना ज्यादा आसान और सहज हो जाता है और कम से कम ये भी हो जाता है कि आप जानते हैं कि मैं अपनी भाषा में इस सब्जेक्ट को अप्रोच कर सकता हूँ जी सभी वो तत्पिंडे तत् ब्रह्मांडे कि जो आपके में है वही सारे ब्रह्मांड में है लेकिन ये किस तरह से आपस में रिलेटेड है ये आपको तंत्र बहुत विस्तार पूर्वक बताता है जहां पर 54 फोर ट्राइंगल्स जो है वो आपस में कैसे इंटरेक्ट करते हैं और इस सारे प्रोसेस को वो डेवलप और एक्सप्लेन करते हैं लेकिन मैं अभी यहाँ नहीं जा रहा उसको हम फिर कभी लेंगे जब अगली जब हम इस तरह के सेमिनार्स करेंगे और संस्कृत की दृष्टि से विज्ञान के इन आ, कुछ मुख्य जो अवधारणाएं हैं उनकी हम व्याख्या और स्पष्टीकरण करने की कोशिश करेंगे तो मैं ये केवल आपको एक आइडिया देना चाहता था कि इस तरह से क्वांटम फिजिक्स को हम समझने की कोशिश कर सकते हैं अपनी भाषा में जितनी उसकी अपेक्षा है तो इन सारे विषयों पे चर्चा करने के लिए हमारे साथ आज उपस्थित हैं कर्नल डॉक्टर सुभाष चंद्र जी और आप उनकी डिग्रीज देख सकते हैं उनकी उपलब्धियां काफी उपलब्धियां देख सकते हैं कि वो बी है एम ई है एम टेक है एम ई ए है पी एच है एफ आई ई एफ आई ई ई और ये गोल्ड मेडलिस्ट हर चीज में रहे हैं और इसके साथ साथ अस्सी वर्ष बयासी वर्ष की उम्र होने के बावजूद अभी तक वो इन सारे कार्यों में बड़े शिद्दत से बड़े गंभीरता से इनके प्रयोग करने में लगे हुए हैं उसको थ्योरेटिकली भी विकसित कर रहे हैं और प्रैक्टिकली भी विकसित कर रहे हैं कर रहे हैं और निश्चित रूप से वो आज आपको वो कुछ डिमॉन्स्ट्रेशन कुछ डाटा आप लोगों के साथ भी साझा करेंगे कि इस एंटीना टेक्नोलॉजी से आप अपने कर्मों को किस तरह से हैंडल कर सकते हैं जो कि जिन्हें हम प्रारब्ध कर्म संचित कर्म और क्रियमाण कर्म आदि आदि के नामों से जानते हैं बहुत सारी है चीजें और उन्होंने बहुत सारे जो वर्कशॉप्स कंडक्ट की हैं अभी भी करते हैं वो अहमदाबाद में रहते हुए गुजरात में गोल्डन इस तरह के बहुत सारे जो सेमिनार्स और वेबिनार्स उन्होंने कंडक्ट किए हैं सो राइट नाउ ही इज अ प्रैक्टिसिंग स्पिरिचुअल इंजीनियर एंटीना एनर्जेटिक इंजीनियर न्यू एज स्पिरिचुअल गाइड एंड ऑल्सो कंडक्ट वर्कशॉप वर्कशॉप ऑन एंटीना बायो एनर्जी इंजीनियरिंग योगा ईटीसी सो so, उनको मैं आमंत्रित करने से पूर्व मैं एक दो बातें आपके साथ और साझा कर लेता हूं देखिए जैसा कि मैंने कहा था कि कर्म जो है वो घूम फिर के हमारी सामान्य समझ यही है कि वो कर्म घूम फिर के हमारे पास आता है जो आप करते हैं कॉज एंड इफेक्ट के रूप में ही समझा जाता है लेकिन कर्म के और बहुत सारे प्रकार हैं जिनमें से मुझे लगता है कि ये हमारे लिए चीजें जरूरी होंगी जिसमें से ये जो ज्ञानावरणीय कर्म जो होते हैं जो आपके ज्ञान को ढक लेते हैं दर्शनावरणीय अंतराय ये आप आ, मैं चाहूंगा कि अगर आप चाहते हैं तो इसका आप स्क्रीन ले सकते हैं ताकि मैं समय को बचा सकूं और मोहनीय कर्म मोह में पैदा करने वाले तो एंटीना टेक्नोलॉजी बेसिकली इन सब चीजों के में आपकी कैसे हेल्प करेंगे कर सकता है ये आपको देखना है और साथ ही साथ इसी प्रकार अघातीय कर्म होते हैं जो नॉन वायलेंट एक तरह के होते हैं आयुष नाम गोत्र और वेदनीय मैं इनकी व्याख्या में नहीं अभी जा रहा लेकिन ये सारी चीजें हैं और प्लस इसमें आप संचित प्रारब्ध और क्रियमाण कर्म इन सारे विषयों पे चर्चा करेंगे और ये कुछ एंटीनास होते हैं जिसके बारे में डॉक्टर साहब आपसे बात करेंगे जो ह्यूमन बॉडी की जो इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक वेव है और बाकी जितनी एनर्जी लेवल है उनको वो किस तरह से उसको देखते हैं हैं नापते हैं और फिर उसके लिए सजेस्टिव जो मेथड होते हैं
ना उनको करते हैं और चलते चलते मैं एक आखिरी बात आप एक आखिरी स्लाइड आप लोगों के साथ शेयर करना चाहता हूँ कि देखिए ये बहुत आसान है कि हम किसी भी चीज को आउटराइटली रिजेक्ट कर दें और क्योंकि हम लोगों की पिछले सौ साल सौ में ऐसी कंडीशन भी हो गई है कि हम सोचे हैं कि साइंस केवल साइंटिफिक टर्म्स में होती है जो वेस्ट में साइंस डिवेलप हुई लेकिन आप ये देखिए कि उनकी अपनी तरह की समस्याएं और अपनी तरह की लिमिटेशन है और आशा कौन सी डिवेल्प की जो कि विभाजन पर आधारित थी एक जैसे यहाँ पर आप देख रहे हैं परपेंडिकुलरली अगर आप देखें कि आई एम एंड रेस्ट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड यानी कि मैं हूं अलग और बाकी दुनिया सारी अलग है इसलिए वहां पर आप इसी तरह की साइंस को विकसित कर सकते थे जिसमें ऑब्जर्वर जो है वो बड़ा गौण हो जाता था ये लेटर पीरियड में आके उनको जब समस्याओं का सामना करना पड़ा जहां पर उनको पता लगने लगा कि नहीं ऑब्जर्वर का भी महत्व तो उतना ही है क्योंकि रियलिटी जो है वो परसेप्शन में ज्यादा महत्व तो रखती है तो आई एम और रेस्ट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड यहाँ पे जब विभाजन कर लिया तो निश्चित रूप से इसके साथ आपने एक संघर्ष पैदा किया और इस संघर्ष को पैदा करने के लिए आपको इन सारी शक्तियों को नियंत्रित करना है तो आपको उस तरह की टर्मिनोलॉजी और साइंस डेवेल्प करनी पड़ी लेकिन दूसरी ओर अगर आप नीचे की ओर देखें एक्स एक्सिस से तो आप देखेंगे कि आपकी जो भाषा है वो किस तरह की भाषा है अहम असमी यानी कि टोटेलिटी की भाषा है कि आप आप और आपका संसार आपका ब्रह्मांड अलग नहीं है दो अलग चीजें नहीं है तो इसलिए यहां से जो परसेप्शन डेवलप होगी वो नितांत भिन्न रूप की होगी वो तो एक अलग तरह की चीज होगी वो टोटली में देखने की आदि हुई और यहाँ दूसरी ओर अंग्रेजी माध्यम से जब आप देखेंगे तो विभाजन पर होगी वहां पर ए ट्री स्कॉल ट्री उसकी कोई व्याख्या या उसका कोई अर्थ नहीं अपने आप में होगा वो आप उसको असाइन कर रहे हैं कि भाई इस तरह की वस्तु को आप कहेंगे और यही धीरे भी है कि आप ट्री को पेड़ कहेंगे लेकिन पेड़ शब्द अपने आप में कोई अर्थ नहीं देता बट द मोमेंट यू डील विद द संस्कृत and you say वृक्ष तो दैट मीन यू आर नॉट टॉकिंग अबाउट द थिंग्स यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ ए थिंग जैसे कि वृक्ष का मतलब है समथिंग दैट इज कट एंड फेल डाउन तरु का मतलब है समथिंग दैट फ्लोट तो वी आर यू आर नॉट टॉकिंग अबाउट द थिंग्स हेयर यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ द थिंग्स तो कितना फर्क पड़ गया है साइंटिफिक परसेप्शन में यहाँ की बाबा तो इस तरह के शब्दों का कोई आप साइंस में या अंग्रेजी में निकाल के देख ली लीजिए आपको नहीं मिलेगा तो इसलिए ऐसा कह ना ऐसा मानना कि केवल साइंस वहीं पे होती है और उसी टर्म्स में होती है मुझे लगता है उस जड़ता से वैज्ञानिकों को भी बाहर आना चाहिए और संस्कृत के लोगों को भी थोड़ा सा खुलना चाहिए कि जैसे ही सोच वहां विकसित की गई है उसको हम अपनी दृष्टि से जरूर समझने का प्रयास करें और उसको अप्रिशिएट भी करें और देखें कि हम अपनी शब्दावली को कैसे ज्यादा से ज्यादा विकसित कर सकते हैं तो इन्हीं सब शब्दों के साथ मैं आम आमंत्रित कर रहा हूं
इस सारे विषय पे चर्चा करने के लिए कर्नल डॉक्टर सुभाष चंद्र जी को कि वो इस सारे विषय के ऊपर पर लगभग अगले 35-40 मिनट आप सबसे बात करेंगे और उसके बाद आप सभी के प्रश्न आप सबके टिप्पणिया और सहमति सहमति जो भी आप लोगों को अच्छा लगे वो हमारे साथ आप साझा कर सकते हैं तो मैं आमंत्रित कर रहा हूं डॉक्टर सुभाष चंद्र जी को जी सर डॉक्टर सुभाष आप सुन पा रहे हैं मुझे डॉक्टर सुभाष जी सर कहीं वो डिस्कनेक्ट तो नहीं हो पे हमारे साथ इंटरमीडिएटली यू आर नॉट ऑडिबल अंगिराज जी मैं दोबारा बात करता हूँ डॉक्टर सुभाष जी अच्छा फिर आ, काफी दिक्कत मुझे लग रही है उनकी तरफ से है नहीं नहीं ज्वाइन कर रहे हैं सर जस्ट ओके सर अपने को अनम्यूट कर लीजिए जी जी मैंने देख लिया क्या करो माइ ये क्या है ये बटन जी जी कैन यू हेयर मी Yes, yes, sir. Yes, you are audible. So we have lost lot of time, but anyway, you were talking about the percentage of uh, you know various elements. Punch that we were talking about, and uh, you said yes. you have got some certain percentage information uh, which is not authenticated. But we have tried to authenticate through our lacquer antenna, trying to uh, you know get get connected to the supreme energy. and get information from there your percentage was almost near about that what normally we get that so, uh, get that information so we we will be in a position to authenticate that percentage also at times we check the same element agni jal vayu akash prithvi in the environment or the place where you live and work 
So I thought I will uh, add to what you have said. Now coming back to our subject, interrelationship of quantum physics to law pharma, neutralization and upgrading through antenna and the traditional science, but our Rishimuni is what? Science background. They could understand, they might have not quantum but they could Sir, it will be good if you use mobile phone with no, data. I'm using mobile phone, only volume I have to use. I, I'll, I'm getting connected. Oh, I'll, I'll get connected to you through my mobile. See, One second. that will be better. I, I'm getting connected. Because to I'm you. also. One hmm. second. I should. Uh, huh. WhatsApp me ja kar ke aap us, uh, click kar dije bas. लिंक को क्लिक कर दीजिए वो आ जाएगा अब देखिए मैं जी 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 ठीक है कैन यू हियर मी नाउ यस यस कैन आई प्रोसीड सब ज्यादा बेहतर हेलो so the subject friends who doesn't want to be happy happy and prosperous in his life everybody wants some of us are prosperous and some of us are very very happy in life but others are not see normally when such a situation takes place we will attribute to do this to our destiny or luck but our karma but karma is the last word that we use we normally use destiny friends this is nothing else but happiness health and the prosperity uh, excuse me sir excuse me sir sir a minute ye jo dusra aapne on kiya hua hai uska volume band kar dijiye mobile ka volume rakhiye baaki sab uska speaker off kar dijiye jo dusra aapne saath mein rakha hoga na दूसरा आपने कुछ साथ में खोला हुआ होगा ना एक आपने दो आप एक तरफ मोबाइल से हैं मेरे ख्याल एक तरफ और दूसरा लैपटॉप से होंगे उसका जो है वो स्पीकर आप माइक और स्पीकर आप उसका ऑफ कर दीजिए क्योंकि वो आवाज गूंज रही है माइक ऑन सर माइक ऑन कर लीजिए स्पीकर ऑफ कर दीजिए नो नो सर सर प्लीज आप माइक ऑन करिए बस इस ऊपर वो माइक का निशान बना हुआ है जी आपने फिर माइक ऑफ कर दिया सर एक बस माइक के ऊपर ठीक है हाँ जी अब ठीक है इसको बंद कर दो अच्छा एनीवे सॉरी दिस डिस्ट्रक्शन आई डोंट नो व्हाई नहीं नहीं इट्स ओके नाउ द पॉइंट है नहीं इट्स ओके सी एवरीबॉडी वांट्स टू बी हेल्दी हैप्पी एंड प्रॉस्पेरस इन लाइफ बट दिस हेल्थ हैप्पीनेस एंड प्रॉस्पेरिटी आर नॉर्मली द फंक्शन ऑफ आवर एनर्जीज इज स्टोर्ड इन द डीएनए ए प्लांट कैन नॉट ग्रो इफ देयर इज नो एनर्जी इन द लैंड same way if there is no energy in the human body the person cannot grow in life whether it is in terms of its physical health mental health emotional health professional health intellectual health social health interrelationship and including the spiritual health now these energies are stored being in the dna and dna is the hard disk of the human body hard disk 
like in a normal computer, it stores all the data and information. Same way, the human energies is stored in the DNA and this DNA has got and reflects the physical health, mental health, emotional health and all kinds of health of a person. This energy is in the form of waves as Dr. Saab, Professor Saab has said earlier. So there is a relationship between uh, the uh, universal energy and the metaphysical and physical energies in this universe. So and the physical energies and metaphysical energies are converted and vice versa and they get connected with each other. So hard disk of the person is the DNA and we are all terminal like you are a terminal. I am a terminal and the universe is a supercomputer. And this supercomputer stores all the information about every existence of the universe in the form of frequency, wavelength, and amplitude. Since we are connected with the terminal, we have got that energy also which is available in the universe and universal energy is what? Infinite nature. And that being infinite nature, it means theoretically, all of us have infinite energy in our DNA. But unfortunately, we are, our behavior is entirely different. Each one of us have entirely different behavior and performance in life. Though we theoretically, we have infinite energy. If we have infinite energy, then there should not be any problem in life. Whether it is physical health or mental, we should never fall sick. And we should never have any financial difficulty in life. But that is not so. It's only because of the energy stored in the DNA and the blocks which we have created as a result of the karmas and karmas, how they will create the block, we will talk a uh, little later. So now this energy, universal energy is supposed to be in the golden ratio. I'm sure most of us might have heard of this golden ratio, which is based on the Fibonacci series. And first, this slide, what you see here uh, uh, is being presented zeros and one. And from there, the explosion takes place. And once the energy one explodes the zero, and a Fibonacci series or divine sequence is created, that is 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, so and so forth. If you divide two consecutive numbers, you get 1.618. It means when the universe came into existence, that particular time, the energy which was released was in golden ratio. Once any energy which is in golden ratio, it is the spiral, the golden spiral goes up to infinity. It means we have infinite energy theoretically. So, next slide. Please move to next slide. Uh, otherwise, I control. I'll control. So, now, different names have been given. Can you hear me? Yes, yes. loud and clear. The different names have been given to this golden ratio, golden section, golden mean, golden number, divine proportion. But this all, this information you will get in Google. Name does not matter anything. It is not that when we say golden, it means under no circumstances it will ever change. Gold never changes its behavior. Same way the golden ratio will never change its the, uh, ratio energies will never change their behavior or characteristics. Now, what was the purpose of God Almighty or the creator who created this universe in golden ratio? If you go by, uh, you know, matter at the subatomic level, the position of electrons, protons, neutrons is also as per golden ratio. So even the planets, the movement between planets or the distance between planets is also as per golden ratio. The aim is to create a balance. The purpose of the God supreme energy or the universe was to create a harmony in universe. There should not be any disturbance, not like what we see disharmony between people, growth, abundance. It means when there is disharmony, it means the golden ratio is disturbed straight away. Growth. So wherever the golden ratio is served, there will not be growth. Abundance, when all these factors are there available already in the universe and there this theoretically all of us have this, uh, uh, you know, benefits in our energy which are stored in the DNA, then why are we facing problems? Now, same way, 
the benefit of health physically emotional intellectual financial professional social and spiritual level we should never face a problem retarding aging people say aging in the age with time and be happy but friends aging is not a process this is basically aging cheese mean, means the retardation of energy in a system when you do not allow the retardation the aging can be retarded and as on today also we will be surprised that god almighty has given us 200 years of biological age all of us are supposed to live for 200 years but chronologically a person may even die at the age of 30 or 40 it means if the kidney fails at the age of 30 the biological age of kidney reaches 200 years at the age of 30 itself so therefore the person leaves this world so now the point is if we start maintaining these energies first is identifying the uh, imbalance of the energy in the dna quantifying those energies and finding the root cause of those energies and then if we can eliminate with any system i can assure you friends we can retard our aging and maintain youth the rest of our long time well we are validating this concept it's not that theoretically we are talking uh, we, uh, the people who have been trained by us through our research they are uh, they have also joined our group we are all validating and we are trying to you know in reduce the biological age of a human body supposing he is a, a 70 or 80 years of age the biological age of a person can be reduced to almost five years anyway that is the, how it is to be done if time permitting we can have a demonstration then happiness and bliss and finally this is the all of us know that the aim of every human being is self realization self realization of moksha does not mean that you get moksha after the after the person dies no the moksha is available here itself when your body is pure and healthy where your mind is pure and healthy and soul is pure and healthy and they all these energies resonate with each other and also resonate the supreme energy with the supreme energy so that is the state of moksha so friends, these are the applications of border uh, ratio. All this information is available in Google. Please go ahead and uh, get more knowledge. This is these are the certain slides which we have prepared so that you can see how golden ratio is maintained in the cosmology, yeah, the earth globe and the moon. And this is called as a capillar triangle. And this phi is nothing else but 1.618. When you divide the base of the triangle, by this uh, hypotenuse, you get 1.618, which is a golden ratio. The human body, all parameters of the human body are supposed to be in golden ratio. If a person is sick or unhealthy or unhappy or he doesn't grow in life, it means there are some problem with regard to the golden ratio. Now, how do we maintain that? How do we get back to golden ratio is the aim of our research of uh, and uh, through antenna energetic engineering and we have even prepared certain protocols for this purpose friends this is the dna which is supposed to be in golden ratio minor group and the major group divided by minor group should be 1.618 now this is the cross section which we have taken of the dna this is the cross molecular cross section of the dna here you find pentagons all wrong these pentagons are nothing else but they store the emotional behavior your talent your uh, in all parameters of life except the physical health physical health is controlled by these uh, uh, you know hexagons and this hexagon as the pe and the uh, uh, pentagons are attached with each other that is why people say that every problem is a psychosomatic so this reflects onto this and, and the physical health reflects onto the emotions. Moment the this particular thing gets affected, it means the person is emotionally imbalanced, the ratio of the sides will not be 1.618. Now, if you draw even a regular pentagon, five sides equal, if you divide the this diagonal by this side, 
of the pentagon you will get 1.618 then this is connected this spiral is created and this spiral gets connected with a golden rectangle which is again as per golden ratio so i'm just trying to show to you how this golden ratio works in a human body now even the brain is supposed to be as per golden ratio when we are young but as the uh, time passes and the person starts getting older and older in life this starts shrinking the muscles start shrinking it goes out of golden ratio it starts from the pineal gland and this spiral is created which is as per golden ratio so he, and that's why people lose memory in old age now in order to regain memory you will have to undo that and what are the processes involved which we got to learn even in spirituality when we do meditation or balance chakras some amount of energy we can channelize through the universe and we can to some extent enhance the golden ratio of the human body i am trying to show you how primitively it was being used as a golden ratio for getting connected to the universe and draw the energies even the temples were designed based on that it means our rishi muni who used to design as per shastras they were designing as per golden ratio so that they do not these buildings do not deteriorate there are no negative energies and no problem takes place to the human being or whosoever is using it now coming back to our cosmic energies we got to understand these energies which are stored in the human body are physical they are of two types physical and metaphysical physical energies are those energy which can be easily measured on normal uh, instrumentation maybe up to giga cycle but beyond that are some amount to can maybe a tera cycle but sometimes it is not possible to measure certain high frequency energies so those energy we may call them metaphysical living and non living now mainly these are various kinds of uh, you know types of energy. energies which are available in the universe active passive male and female day and night without male and female the universe will not function no creation can take place without a male and female that's why zero is called as uh, a female and one is called as a male so that is why it is called as shiva and shakti that is how the uh, blast took place at the time of uh, Uh, creation of the universe scalar and vector scalar energies are those energy which travel in all directions where vectors are unidirectional now supposing you want to walk you can only either walk straight or back or something like that you can't walk all the uh, 360 degrees but scalar supposing a man dies in usa and the soul leaves the body where will it get reincarnated will it get in reincarnated usa or somewhere else well th th these are the energies wherever they resonate they get reincarnated but we have gone into details of its research also how um, you know the uh, uh, creation of uh, uh, generation take place through scientific means macro and micro spherical energy for distant and near environment Uh, energy is every planet is sending us energy most of uh, people deal with astrology and various other kinds of things they they also emit certain kinds of energies what kind what kind of effect they have on to our human body that is called the macro spherical energy micro spherical are supposing uh, you have put a antenna uh, mobile phone antenna next to your house or there is a source of uh, nuclear energy they will become micro spherical energies and they also have impact on the human body potential and kinetic energy now coming back to the interrelationship of modern science modern scientific concepts are the quantum physics we have already referred to einstein theory of theory of relativity and atomic physics subatomic most of us know about it but matter energy space and time are related with each other friends when you change matter the energy changes if you change space the energy changes for example in a bedroom you change the layout the energy of that bedroom changes and which is going to affect the human body anyway how it gets affected that we have to understand through our antenna energetic engineering now indian concept of energy we talk of five elements which professor sahab has already talked of ashutosh ji 
and Chinese system, they name it. There are all, many other civilizations also use uh, uh, different kinds of names uh, for these energies. Now we have laws of energy, which are very, very important. Here we have, as you said, living and non-living energies are there. Now living energies follow some additional laws and non-living energies follow some laws. These are common laws for living and non-living energy. Energy cannot be created and cannot be destroyed. That is why people say that there's a life before birth and life after death. It means we are nothing else but energy at subatomic level at our quantum quanta level. If we have got nothing in energy, energy cannot be destroyed at all and it cannot be created. So it has to take another shape. Energy moves, energy can be changed from one shape to another shape. Now, what shape it will take? The quality of the energy with which the person will die or will leave this world will decide where it will go. That can also be quantified, friends, to a greater extent. So energy moves from a higher potential to a lower potential. Where supposing I am a negative person comes and sits in front of me, and I am a negative person myself, his high level of negative energy is going to be come to me, friends. Human body itself is an antenna. You don't need any extra antenna for getting connected to the universe. But unfortunately, we have got so much blockage in our uh, and antenna that energy does not flow or get disrupted just by saying that i will do meditation or i will do yoga or i will do this and everything will get sorted out may not be possible friends this one has to understand now coming to the extra laws of living energy the law of change with the time the universal energy never remains same they are not static. That's why you, uh, our energy, which are there in DNA, they change with time. Now we have to follow that change or we, we have to retard that change. That is a very, very important point. The law of attraction, that is the second law. Negative energy attracts negative energy and positive energy attracts positive energy. As I said, if we sit in front of a negative person, the negative energy will move to me. Normally, we say that if a doctor is there in the mental hospital for 20 years, he serves there. I think 20 plus years, he has to book his ticket there and room there. So the law of ventilation. The law of ventilation says that the automatically there is an ingress of energy in the human body and it is used by the body and dirty energy is thrown out of the body like our lungs. It is all autonomous process. No, nobody is there uh, to regulate that. So same way, but if this law of ventilation gets disturbed because of the disturbance or imbalance of energy, then automatically the pers person starts facing problems in life. The law of reproduction, all of us know how a human being or living being can reproduce. The law of consciousness. Consciousness is nothing else. When the energy moves, only then there is a consciousness. A dead body doesn't have consciousness. Consciousness and energy can only move when there is a higher potential to a lower potential. If both potentials are same, the energy cannot move. So in order to create consciousness, we have to get connected to the higher source of energies and so that the higher source of energies are they, are, they move to the lower source and a consciousness is created. And finally, the law of karma, which is very, very important and on which the our uh, behavior our attitudes towards life, our talents, and uh, everything depends upon that, even including our spiritual growth. The, the easiest way to have success is that we have to check these and quantify these energies in the DNA. The 7% of the energy, what we get is only from eat, food, balance, 93 is available free of cost, friends, which we do, we normally ignore. We normally put in a lot of effort for some person where this 93 percent comes. Now, breakup of energy is stored in the DNA. I earlier also mentioned that 40 percent of the unresolved karma of past birth, present life, and negative karmas created during this life. Friends, these karmas can be nullified. 
they can be de mitigated and they can be uh, then positive karma can be upgraded i will show you the wavelengths which we have worked out for this purpose and straight away the antenna, antenna handling is so simple you will be surprised friends even a child of 10 years can learn this supposing he wants to increase his memory power or his focus he can change his energies or somebody else the antenna can also be used for helping others you can change the energy of the other person through just distant uh, transfer of energy now 25 percent of the energy is through your lifestyle management karmas are not 40 percent friends are all 100 percent they become only the opening balance of energies of a human body or living body 25 percent is superimposed to on this 40 percent it is like a running balance you have opened a bank account and you then you keep on doing some transactions so this transaction is available for 60 percent 25 percent is if you you're eating habit sleeping habit exercising at emoting habits etc now how, how much you should eat I, my antenna helps me even checking how much chapati should i eat and how much sleep was did i get my sound sleep last night or not exercising we have even uh, you know uh, proper permutation and combinations of yoga how many minutes you have to do asanas how many minutes you should do pranayama how many minutes you should do walking or uh, some uh, muscular exercise and so on and so forth how do you optimize all that in a, a lifestyle management so some guidelines have been fixed but are they correct for uh, every guideline cannot be useful for everybody every human being is different so if you want to optimize your lifestyle management, I can assure you, friends, this antenna can help us a great deal. Coming to next 35%, which is either people give too much of importance, people think that if I do Vastu, everything will become all right. I have been talking, I have been asking this question to Vastu experts. I said, look, and they talk of Vedic Vastu. They will talk of uh, uh, you know uh, Devtas and uh, Mahavastu and so on, we have adjusted this so everything will happen. But I asked them a very simple question. Since the Vastu, the, uh, the science was developed by Vishkarma, and I am sure in uh, Dwapar and Treta, when the palaces of these uh, 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 gods like God, Lord Rama and uh, 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 the Pandvas and Kauravas were constructed, I'm sure they would have been done based on uh, those principles of Vastu, the, the Vedic uh, uh, architectural science. But then why there was a problem? Why, why the, uh, Duryodhan wanted to kill um, uh, a beam at the age of 13? It means from childhood itself, he had a problem. Then similarly, uh, uh, Rama, then Kunti, uh, the, the, I mean, uh, Dhoti Chiraran. So uh, this, they were playing, uh, 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 they were doing gambling in palace. It means energies were not all right. When Vastu person says that if I do everything right, well, uh, even if there's a fight between husband and wife, it will get sorted out. If that was so, then why could they not sort out all these problems? It means there are certain other parameters which we have to understand, friends. And we can, if we do not understand and quantify and uh, negate those parameters, the solutions will not come perfect. So therefore, friends, uh, same way I have been talking uh, certain, uh, you know, temples which were destroyed by uh, all of us know about it. But uh, temples like Vaishno Devi are, uh, so to say, temple like uh, Ad uh, Amarnath or Jagannath, Rameshwar, even Tirupati, they were not attacked by anybody. It means they were they had positive energy which we can check while sitting here in, in any place. If you have a flow graph, you can check the energy of the, um, uh, for example, you want to check the energy of uh, Vaishno Devi if you have seen or you have visited ever. So this is the way we can handle this particular antenna and this antenna has a Versatile, it is a versatile antenna and it has got a lot of uh, applications in our life. Now, this is the dipole antenna which we use. 
and this is normally designed on golden ratio whatever antennas are available in the market are you see like uh, maruti car mercedes uh, uh, you know mercedes car both are cars but the efficiency of both the cars are different same way we have designed this golden ratio, uh, golden ratio antenna the efficiency of this is much more this is the how it operates these are the two hands and this is what we hang down if you uh, these are the two arms and how the energy comes plus if when we operate this the negative energy changes into positive and positive energy changes when we fix it to a particular this wavelength this scale is nothing else but centimeter scale which are the this this indicates the uh, bandwidth of the antenna bandwidth of the antenna usable is 0 0.05 to 18.6 centimeter and if we have a centimeter scale as the wavelength the uh, uh, frequency is normally of the order of giga cycle friends again these giga cycle frequencies are nothing else but they are uh, uh, sub harmonic of the main frequencies of the universe which are very very high which cannot be measured now professor sir i hope you are hearing me hello ji 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 yes loud and clear sir ah, because i am talking and i am not seeing and, no 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 <laughs> loud and clear and, and now you see here is we, we with this antenna if we first we want to check the what are the negative energy the person has now let us say the, he is the person 35 as i said this is the wavelength 17.9 is the wavelength of our antenna and total energy stored in the D, dna negative energy as on today that is 40% 35% 25% out of that what is the component out of that what is the energy which he has brought from the previous birth and past life this is the wavelength for that same way what is the energy he has brought from the lifestyle management now that both these contribute and get added here now here is this place where you live and work now the chair or you sit in the office the bed on which you sleep especially bed for example you sleep 8 hours and one third of your uh, uh, life in the house is in, on the bedroom and this is for example 35% all these three things residence place of work and the people we meet environment where sometimes we go around and meet people so friends now all they contribute some amount of negativity ha huh? of course some some will contribute positivity also but negativity if i find out balance we can always find out how much positivity i have now the aim is to nullify that now that is as a result of karma and information is being superimposed so actually uh, that energy what will happen we will see later we talked of happiness now this particular happiness word is friends is you know misinterpreted wrongly used in life if somebody will say if my child goes to uh, london or get married um, i'll be very happy friends possibly he has not understood the uh, technical meaning or cosmic meaning of happiness friends these are various stages of life. comfort pleasure happiness and bliss these are the stages of mind normally we say happiness is a state of mind so all these are separate energy body energy mind energy body is a separate energy mind is a separate energy when i say body, separate energy means they have a separate frequency wavelength and amplitude this but when this body energy and mind energy resonate with non living external energy for example you are having a, a car or you are sitting on a, a sleeping on a bed the bed energies are resonating with your body energy and body energy and mind energy you will get a state of comfort if there is a for example a thorn is there it is picking up the body it will say that there is a discomfort so comfort can be only achieved only when there is a body mind energy resonating with non living energies now we have earlier already uh, learned that what are the parameters or characteristics of living and non living energies pleasure player is an, uh, when you your body and mind resonates with the living energies outside now supposing my body and mind energy resonates with professor ashutosh it means we are 
we have a pleasure of being uh, you know associate or friends or if you have a pleasure and your energy body and mind energy are resonating with your wife then you have a pleasure of having her as your wife not you are happy to have her as wife not that you have a comfort sometimes we say that i am com- this is the english language but doesn't matter but coming back to happiness here another energy enters self body the mind and soul friends all these is energy and energy when i say my body my body and mind has to be pure and healthy any man who is who is personally unhealthy cannot be happy the question is how to remain healthy if the, his mind is unhealthy he cannot be happy same way if soul is unhealthy a person cannot be happy there is a process of purification of body mind and soul which we follow certain regimes and we also make use of these uh, dipole antenna to ensure their purification process and resonate them now come to the bliss that is the extreme or superlative degree of the happiness when the fourth energy also enters that is the supreme god energy supreme god has got its own characteristics and qualities if your qualities start matching with the energies or the uh, characteristic of the supreme energy god almighty then you are in the state of bliss it means that you have reached the state of moksha now this is in order to find out whether your body is pure and healthy mind is pure and healthy these are the various wavelengths so we can straight away find out whether this person has got any problem sickness whether is he has a problem with regard to with his mind whether he has a problem with regard to his soul all that can be found out and whether he is a happy in life or not he is just making a, a fool of himself and others i am very happy everybody says i am very happy this is very, very when you say how are you it's a very very happy not only happy. happy very calm calm is action action means energy so friends if energy is not there you can't act so these energies which are stored in the dna in the hardest in the human body are the base energies and which are superimposed as i said uh, the, the it comes from three places and as we, we are all technical people all energies are quantifiable measurable now for example if you are using electricity don't you measure it if you have money money is not money is energy if you don't we also keep on updating we go to, to up, update our passbook but friends have we ever uh, ever bother to up achievements in life rejections in my life uh, difficulties in life have we ever updated our uh, up- updated the passbook there otherwise if you don't go to the bank for two years and three years and say that uh, you want to deal don't quantify our energies in the dna which is of course the base is karmas now when we got to we got to understand the base here the problem of how the problem comes how the sickness comes in balance of disease to be if there is a balance that gets imbalance gets transferred through the cells as you know the dna is connected to the cells from the dna is is 
tightened by timer. As the information is passed on, the timer length reduces. If positive energy is passed on, telomer length is increased. If negative energy is passed on, or sick energy is passed on, telomer. become uh, more and more cells will start getting sick and finally that's once it is done the physical body and then finally person gets symptoms now if you want to reverse the come back to this place then you will have to when you whenever you will uh, this cure disease, nullify energies, reverse direction, then symptoms will go out first. Once you get symptoms out, people think that is become all right, friends. No, the uh, uh, disease or difficulty may still be there in the organ or cells. And even if it is, I had fatal diseases. Which I, If I have time, I will tell you how I have worked out. I could find out that disease entered my DNA almost thousand years ago. That we have got retrocognition and precognition. With this retrocognition, we can find out when that particular situation, that problem will restart. So therefore, friends, we have to go into the reverse direction. Only then. Of course, when we remove a disease information, a void is created in the uh, DNA. DNA gets connected to the supreme energy, and that void is filled by the positive energies. And then, if we, if you if we can increase the length of the telomeres, that's why people do meditation, yoga. And because after all, the process is same, but since there are blockages of energies in our uh, system, flow of karmas. This is a cycle. As I said, Sanchit karmas are, are a past life and this period, they are the unresolved karma. Supposing I have done a transaction, I have given loan to somebody this year and he pays me back in this year before 31st of March. So it is not put into the you know opening balance uh, or, uh, uh, books of the account next year. Here, if a particular karma does not mature or mature mean does not give fruit, Because in the cosmic laws, every transaction must get completed by itself. But of course, there are other ways of doing it. If you cannot, you know, the, undo that karma in it, this particular life, that becomes unresolved and it is carried forward. Once it is carried forward, it becomes an opening balance. And that when and as and when. It gets saturated or it starts getting mature and start received from the lifestyle management and the market karma when they are mature, either sickness, difficulty, problems in life. Now, these karma. Uh, past life and this life he becomes a, a bigger thief and then uh, he, he karma which will again become a sanchit karma the cycle continues the cycle of karma continues and then if this cycle is not broken then rebirth unconditional karmas then it can result to moksha 
so friends these are various types of karmas as i said we have found the wavelength for all these karmas supposing i want to know how many how much sanchit karma negative karmas i have got even we can check in each and every organ we can check in every each and every sub system so for example somebody has diabetes now is it because is it a karmic effect somebody will say that uh, okay my um, parents had the diabetes so uh, child is having genetic jiska jawab nahi milta wo genetic ka answer de de rahe hain ya bol rahe hain so friends a person who dies with that Diabetes. His pancreas is not in good condition. Closing balance of energy at the time of death is going to be opening balance of energy in the next birth, and then he takes the birth in a family where there is diabetes. As, as simple as where he, the energy has go and resonate in the fertilized egg, which is created by the male and female. Uh, energies resonate. We are in a position to find out even in the organs. Now, for someone, so somebody is obese. Why is obese? Is it because of liver, or is it because of the um, <coughs> thyroid gland? Uh, you know, uh, uh, or a lifestyle management problem? What is the reason? For that, if you are eating habits so wrong. If we do not identify the problem, how can we solve the problem? There is a tree up above the ground. The same size of tree which is there above the ground is below the uh, in the earth, reflected in the form of roots. If the flower of the uh, the uh, uh, fruit of the tree is bad, you keep on plucking and think that the new fruit will come right when the problem is in the root. You cannot solve that, so you will have to go to root, and root is below the earth. So same way, the karmic effects have to be gone into. We have to understand the base. Then, of course, lifestyle management and other things, other parameters we cannot ignore. Then, prarabdh karma, as I said, positive. Namely, what we do regularly, I I remove uh, negative sanchit karmas from my uh, spine uh, or the blood stream. And accelerate positive karma. We can check, quantify them. How much are now? How much are available now? And how much they will be available after ten days? And after ten days again, again we can quantify. Then prarabdh karma. They can negative karma to be removed and positive karma to be accelerated. Supposing his financial position is not very good, it's a little okay average. He wants to improve that. Well, positive karma are uh, can help our growth. No, no growth in the profession. And similarly, other problems are uh, negative. Negative karma may be interpersonal relationship. A husband and wife or children. And they will result into karma. Uh, stored, so we can also see whether any future karmas are getting, uh, you know, stored in the DNA. So these are the basic for which we have to operate. And as I said, this is the antenna which I will show you application of antenna, physical level. I said identifying, diagnosing, mitigating, and curing all types of diseases, sicknesses. Quantifying the status of healing and period of onset of diseases and sickness, emotion, emotional imbalance, professional excellence, selection and compatibility. Of which profession I should take? Should I take teaching or should I become engineer? In engineering, I should take mechanical or electrical or you have to become doctor. Should I become gynecologist or should I become surgeon or? Uh, eye specialist, uh, or ENT specialist. What should I do? Supposing I have a wrong choice of my profession, then there will be frustration. Now, if our children, uh, you know, identify their profession, my last profession is going to be done. Well, do brand is not going to stay with you life long. You will be independent also. So, improving intellectual intelligence, intelligence uh, potentials, 
removing relationship incompatibility, enhancing social growth, optimizing lifestyle management, as I earlier mentioned, and sick building syndrome. Normally, we use this antenna for selection of land, buildings, designing a bioarchitect design, interior design, and vastu. And our research, sir, research has a disclaimer that needs to be gone into. Some amount of disclaimer is already. I'm giving you simple uh, how people are removing the disease. Of course, same way the karmas also have to be removed uh, either from the chakras or from the organs. Process is same. Just keep the antenna and fix it on a particular wavelength. And then we have to use the quantum energy analysis by shifting to the right brain and get connected to the supreme energy and draw energy and send it wherever you want to. Knee pain. Of course, this is my photograph. I'm trying to convert my gray into black. I was 100% gray, but I'm sure by December this year I should have black hair. Well, friends, any question? Thank you for patient hearing. If there is more time, I can explain more on the subject because subject is pretty vast. And uh, of course, my number is also there. Dr. Kumar Bukil is also there. He's an assistant medical researcher. He's a doctor. Uh, allopathic doctor, MD, and we have another doctor uh, who is an uh, engineer, head of the Department of Electronics Engineering of his university, and he is our assist. He is my assisting technical or uh, engineering researcher. So, friends, if there are questions, please ask. I'm mm -hmm. open. The house is open for. Ah, thank you, sir. Thank you so much. It's a really great. Mm -hmm. Lecture, you have opened our eyes, opened our brains, and with so much new information, and the way you have presented, it's marvelous. I really appreciate that, and thank you so much. So, I think the first question or the observations are to be made by Professor Dr. Chand Bhardwaji, and then followed by um, one other. But first, uh, Chand Bhardwaji. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Uh, Subhash Chandraji, you have done a fantastic job and a lot of research on it. And I appreciate and congratulate you for this noble work you have done. I would like to add a few dimensions, you know, since I'm a, a connected to various academies of sciences all over, I would like to give my observations uh, for self-regulation of the human organism. Of course, you have explained about this antenna and how, what are those frequencies you have put in will be one of the questions here. Apart from that, I would like to inform you that the creation was done by these frequencies known as Nada. And that is how the Nad starts the Big Bang theory from Big Bang to Black Hole. The whole concept is running on these frequencies, which you have beautifully explained, and use this antenna to mitigate the sufferings of people. Now, here uh, I would like to say that a simple method, which we've been working from the last 30 years on it, and I would like to submit all those developments to you so that you can uh, do it much better and much further on it. Because na iti, there is no end to the knowledge and it will keep on going ahead one after the other. Now, the beauty is that ekam bahushyam, the Almighty was one and alone and it was in place. It felt like loving and to love the being of light became from one to many. That's how the whole creation starts because you covered up right from the beginning and to its end. All that is being done by frequencies, as you beautifully explained that. So I would like to say that that nada is a frequency. And with that frequency, the Almighty became from one to many. And then one out of us created this time-bound material creation, which I call it as Kal. And that is what we are correlating with Higgs boson. And the Almighty we are correlating with particle and wave theory because the particle of light becomes a wave or a particle anytime, anywhere. So this is because the creation is an intelligent design. 
and that intelligent being who's doing it all is there in the form of that particle because it becomes a wave or a particle the particle divides itself into two when it passes through the double slit experiment so we call him as all knowing all pervading omniscient omnipresent and it's a capable force and that is what uh, we are part of that once he became from one to many and we as a we are representing the creator in each body and one out of us created the time bound material creation which is being governed by magnetic gravitational fields which you uh, which you just explained and that is how uh, uh, the whole cosmos is uh, running uh, through that gravitational magnetic fields which we call it as quantum field or Higgs field which is embedded with information systems like 2G, 3G, 6G internet is all operative and apart from that it has got chemistry, physics, maths is all there. If the apple falls the scientist calculates the laws of nature and then all those things, all those frequencies has created the first atom as hydrogen by joining these two, electron and proton. And that's how if, if you uh, attract two hydrogen atoms, you create the helium. And then hydrogen helium created the first galaxy of suns and no planets. Then how two suns together? Because in my scriptures, it is there that the first knowledge was given to the sun gods and how two suns together created the hundred and odd elements which you are talking about tatvas and uh, you are taught in the school of those uh, hundred and odd elements and then how your earth came up how water came in here how non-material created the material how the first life started how you acquired the mind as a soul from the universal mind and that universal mind is embedded with information system and laws of nature after acquiring that causal mind you created the earth nareshwar as you very rightly said that there are two forces shiva and shakti is needed so in the beginning when the first single cell came up and it started graduating to the human body at that time it was one single cell which was reproducing also then gradually as per the design of the sketch we wanted to make to feel the creation and we reached the Ardhana Reshwar to make two different entities Shiva and Shakti so that we can really feel this creation in a better manner and then uh, you know from a astral mind and astral body we designed from a single cell uh, to cross 8.4 million species as you very rightly said that our DNA is matching you know how much it match it matches with the other species and how much with the monkey and how much with the apes, you know, and all that information from my parents' side and from my mother's side and from my father's side is all there in the first single cell zygote, which has got all those informations that what kind of features will be there and what kind of things will be there. So all that DNA, RNA strand is there, which has got tremendous amount of information. And the soul <clears throat> use that laws of nature and information system and use the material available here to create the first single cell amoeba because if light and sound which you are which you explained as golden area you know that light and sound strikes on pure elements converts them into amino acids and amino acids synthesize the proteins to make the first single cell and that dies you know beautifully you explained that the material remains here, the mind enriched with the experiences and events of the first single cell goes back to the astral region, comes out again to make a double cell organism. It keeps on repeating it till the time you cross 8.4 billion species to become the crown of creation, the human body. So now here you said about karma. I would like to comment on this hurriedly. But if you, the outer expression of your soul is your attention and wherever the attention goes the total divine energy flows and if this attention has acquired the mind and created the body it's all knowing all pervading if you withdraw this attention from body and mind in meditation and you get connected to your source you come out of all those problems of the karmas also because 
the self-regulation of the human organism starts working. Of course, the outer uh, things, you know, these instruments, I could uh, get connected with this another organization from Germany creating this Healy. You know, that is what they developed, the frequencies, and you can put it on your wrist and can uh, have all those frequencies within your body. Another gentleman from Germany has developed this Nexi, another equipment which is connected through a computer and sit, put uh, like an antenna, as you said, into the center so that everybody can get, get benefits. So what they have done is, here are some of those charts which they sent me for research purposes that to deal with different ailments of the body, he has put lakhs of frequencies on the server and through that server, you can connect through the computer and you can receive those frequencies uh, through this uh, uh, this equipment uh, for all the people sitting around so that everybody can get the benefit of that. So I would request you, I will send you all these informations and material to develop further because you have done a fantastic job and we have worked on uh, spirituality, you know, we call it as a, a spiritual literacy for digital age without mentioning any religion based on science and logic. And we would like to interact with you further. And thank you very much to allow me, Ashutosh Ji, to give these comments that withdrawing this attention, because attention is the outer expression of the soul. If we can withdraw attention from body and mind, that is what is withdrawal of attention, not focusing of attention. If we focus, it goes to the body, which is a physical yoga. If we focus, it goes to the mind, which is a mental yoga. Of course, it does help you to regulate mind and body both. At the same time, once you withdraw it to its location, and the location is behind the eyes, where two optical nerves meet in the center of the head, and which is connected through Brahmarandra to its source all the time. So if we can de-link our attention from body and mind, we get into that bliss you've been talking. And that is what is a permanent bliss, which really does self-regulation of the human organism. Because that energy is running your system 24-7. Your breathing is going on, your blood flow is on, everything is on. And that energy runs it. You explained it so beautifully well. So I would like to give all my work to you so that you can go ahead with that. Thank you very much. Now, can I say something? Uh, I think we should take some more uh, comments and questions. No, because uh, firstly, so, he asked me, uh, uh, Dr. Sir, firstly, he asked me, uh, how do we uh, work out these frequency? Uh, I want to take more questions. Then you reply to uh, reply to them all together. Uh, gee, uh, one from Ahmedabad Network. Okay. You wish to say something? Uh, अपना हाथ खड़ा किया हुआ है और किसी का कोई सवाल है कोई कमेंट है इफ एनीबॉडी वांट्स टू आस्क और से समथिंग नरेंद्र भारद्वाज नरेंद्र जी मिस्टर भारद्वाज जो आपने व्हाटएवर मशीन यू आर यू हैव टॉक्ड ऑफ आई एम अवेयर ऑफ दैट वंडरफुल सर वंडरफुल थैंक यू एंड आई आई नो द लिमिटेशन ऑफ दैट मशीन आल्सो must be must be sir what is our work uh, because oh, in please. pune uh, hardas foundation worked on it for many many years ago uh, where the uh, you know uh, the gentleman who created that uh, perm computer uh, was there and i was introduced to this antenna which they were using there and reciting some of those mantras and they were curing people sitting in many other countries also from there so it was Ardas Foundation, which worked on it for many years, and I I had visited them about maybe 15, 20 years ago, 15 years almost. And I think you both, um, both of you yes. should talk to each other <laughs> later on. I will share the numbers so that you can be in contact with each other. Network is lost. Anyway, uh, you know, I, I'm aware what how much uh, this dipole antenna is being used by others. I yeah, also yeah, had yeah. this antenna 20 years ago, 
but the frequencies and wavelengths which have been given in the market are very very limited what we can okay. we are doing is we can reach any kind of frequency or wavelength and research that supposing pain is there okay. head pain is different nose pain is different ear pain is different knee pain is different stomach pain is different all have got separate frequency wavelength and amplitude amplitude will depend upon the intensity okay. but frequency and wavelength okay. varies now for example every information of yours is available in your aura and we are in a position to pick up all the frequency supposing we want to know this man is having some extra marital activities without his knowledge we can find it out because we have a wavelength for that and now for example we want to know whether modi will come back again again we have got precognition whether those energies are available in the universe or not and how much he will come with with what, what majority will come so and so will go to jail or not because all this information is already available in the universe if you know of the password to reach those information you can and this is a very very simple instrument and highly accurate and can now for example the instrument which you are mentioning cannot work out the lifestyle management of a person okay he, they cannot work out the, uh, the, the, the i mean energies of the building in which we are and environment in which we live and work so if we give you if you ignore that how will you optimize your the parameter health parameters ji ji theek hai any other comment any other question query or disagreement ji ji dr narendra bhandari ji ji sir uh, please unmute yourself you come from ahmedabad ha ji ahmedabad se bol raha hu sir ji aap se mila i have three small questions in the जी beginning जी of your talk when you were talking talking of golden ratio you hmm. said energies were given uh, in this ratio now what are those energies you are talking about see basically please understand the energies which were released in the big bang they were infinite energy god almighty how the creation has been done uh, it is all again a, a theoretical concept we have to see the fruit of the putting in eating now that with that information can we get what we want to achieve in our life now at that particular point of time when the evolution took place the the infinite energies might have got released might have because i was not there so we can only you know uh, are uh, you know uh, uh, what the uh, divine sequence later on somebody called his fibonacci series that was sometimes later on 13 13 100 years uh, 13 uh, uh, 1300 ad but that doesn't mean that this these phenomena were not there earlier they were been there right from day one the universe came into existence so therefore our aim is to as find out as many as frequencies and wavelengths which a human being needs for his optimizing his life so that's what we are doing we have made a lot of protocols we have got protocols for diabetes we have got protocols for okay sir Th- thank you uh, my second question was uh, where, where is this uh, literature available what you have worked is it uh, possible to get it now for example uh, let us say i will share his number you can talk to him also hmm. so you play the my number is already there on screen last page i i will share i will share with it Uh, okay sir so and the, the third Lost small page. question is these antennas are they available like commercially or we can buy them and use them no see they we have a research team which is working with us from abroad they they are even now again the model is being changed so they only when we train people we give as a, a, a free antenna to them okay you get the point because this particular antenna in this format is not available but well, there are so many other antennas uh, available in the market now for example i will have all of them 
but i have i am not using them see these are the various antennas available in the market their efficiency is very low this is french antenna uh, this is called as ecmos thoda sa camera ke aage sir sir thoda camera ke aage kare isko aapne side mein kar diya it's not visible can you see no no, no. where your Aap faces see. keep the antenna there आप एंटेना को आपके सामने लाइए एच थ्री दे कॉल इट गोल्ड जी हाँ नाउ यू कैन सी नाउ इट इज दिस यस इट इज विजिबल जी दिस इज एच थ्री बट अनफॉर्चुनेटली ओके So, for example, with the FM, with FM transistor, you can capture whole station. Whereas with the uh, short wave, one and short wave, you can capture bus of Africa also. Our bandwidth is more. Secondly, it is as per golden ratio. Now we have got pentagons. Pentagons and that two lines on a capillary uh, triangle. D. So capillary triangle also the pyramid was designed as. Uh, 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 in accordance with the capillary triangle uh, almost 3000 years or 4000 years ago it means th this science was known to them okay thank you thank you sir thank you very much uh, i will share your... its number ji ji okay. any other comment question or disagreement you are most welcome to share <laughs> I, i am ready to answer any question on the subject yes yes yes, yes. I, i do want no sir जी और किसी का कोई और किसी का कोई सवाल हो कोई प्रश्न हो विशेष रूप से संस्कृत के लोगों का कि किस तरह से एंटेना एनर्जी जो है और ये कर्म का जो कॉन्सेप्ट है दोनों का किस तरह का संबंध है we have yeah. identified a very simple process where even a child can do it very very easily and one right. can learn in 5 minutes whereas the the, the the way you handle this you can't get get this uh, hangover uh, handling uh, practice for at least for 3 to 6 months ji 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 and and we handle only we hang it here and then we have got oscillation process and then we can quantify and for curing purposes supposing i have to cure diabetes i just keep it on the pancreas ji right the proto protocol which we have fixed or supposing okay. i have a digestive system problem i just keep it on my stomach or uh, small intestine and so on and so forth ji ji uh doc supposing somebody wants to find out marriage compatibility that also we have got now okay. uh, astrology deals with the uh, all these seven uh, nine planets now what we have done is we have found out the wavelength of all the nine planets energy coming from the, and how they are enter, now we can check from uh, dr ashutosh uh, photograph as to how much sun is the the okay okay if all are balanced and is as per go uh awaaz kat rahi hai uh sir mujhe lagta hai beech mein hum ek prashn aur le lete hain uh, professor mohan motu ji and then followed okay, by so my, dr uh, salan namaskar my name is mohan इन्होंने अभी बताया यू जस्ट सेड कि यू आर ऑफरिंग ट्रेनिंग एंड गिविंग एंटेना सो समथिंग मोर इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट व्हाट दैट ट्रेनिंग इज हु इज हु इज दिस राइट स्टूडेंट फॉर दैट ट्रेनिंग एंड वेयर इट इज अवेलेबल समथिंग ऑन दैट ओके ओके अ डॉक्टर साहब अ मुझे लग रहा है फिर वो डिस्कनेक्ट हो गए हैं यस ही इज स्टेइंग एट अहमदाबाद और वो 
चलो मैं वो अगर वो जुड़ जाते हैं और उनके रिक्वेस्ट करते हूँ आशुतोष जी आप उनको नंबर दे दीजिए डॉक्टर साहब का कर्नल चड्डा का नंबर दे दीजिए तो वो दोनों बात कर लेते हैं जी हाँ जी नमस्कार दोबारा अगर दोबारा अगर हम्म कहीं प्रॉब्लम ज़्यादा ही है आज नेटवर्क की कहीं प्रॉब्लम ज़्यादा ही है आज नेटवर्क की सुबह की आप मेरी आवाज़ सुन पा रहे हैं नाउ इट इज़ क्लियर नाउ इट इज़ क्लियर नाउ इट इज़ क्लियर ओके ओके कैन आई कोई बात नहीं होता है पर फिर भी हाँ जी इस इट माय टर्न यस यस प्लीज ओके ओके uh okay after hearing uh, uh colonel ji uh, what i was thinking was again the two publications interesting reading by you all know ferrari harari you all know harari homo sapiens the first publication yeah. the other one is homo deus homo deus means it's almost like human beings trying to take the place of god almighty now god almighty is described in a very detailed manner in our indian darshana there is no such equivalent description possible in any other culture from any other corner of our world okay as far as my personal view is concerned people may differ but this uh, lack of our complete you know supreme capability that we are adoring as god almighty is swayam prakashit and self directed swayam prakashit self directed and we are trying to understand uh, god almighty the all powerful omnipresent omniscient omnipotent and in that regard to give you an example of how our capacities are limited i will quote the example of the whistle the ordinary whistle which the fo- football referee uh, blows when there is foul he has to blow the whistle like that the police people also have a whistle this whistle is not heard by human being it is tuned the wavelength of the sound is tuned to the ears the audible system auditory system of the police dogs and they are trained in it we are not able to perceive that sound so our capacities are limited and in our darshana there is a full description of what is human ignorance that ignorance part is to be deciphered very carefully if at all this is described in english today we started with the uh, the english words and the sanskrit words uh, in english we call it metta metta cognition cognition of cognition there is the swami ji who has published the book uh, uh, ramakrishna ashram disciple swami ji of ramakrishna paramahamsa mm-hmm. sri vivekananda ji and sri abhay abhedanand ji he has published the book on cognition okay. of cognition it is interesting reading the knower the doer and the enjoyer are represented within us and we are trying our level best with our contemplatory mind to understand the human being if at all this meta meta cognition is yes. described very well in none other book that none other uh, than the dev bhasha in dev bhasha in none other uh, source other than i will not say book uh, it is all recent publication publication etc or recent bhagavad gita some of the some of the shlokas which uh, uh, we can remember for the sake of understanding god almighty swayam prakashit and self directed and okay. immanent immanent mm-hmm. uh, this is uh, you know uh, some of the uh, you know advices 
or counseling given to Arjuna by Sri Krishna. Andavanda ime deha nitya stopta sharirina anashino kumayasya tasma dudyutsha barada. Ashochiana anasho jastam pratnavadam sabashase. Gadasuna gadasunja na anusho jandi pandida. Nothing is spoiled, nothing can be created. It, it will exist in the way it is, but maybe in another form, and it will get transferred from one state to another, but nothing can be destroyed. That is what he is telling about okay. the supreme force. Right. And today, Colonel has described the supreme force very well and how the understanding of it uh, will benefit us for the our practical purposes like health, equilibrium of the society, equilibrium of the body, equilibrium of the psychic uh, realm of our mind, realm of our uh, you know being, uh, all these things are uh, mentioned mm -hmm. very well. The Ega Sloga Gida Yatra Yogeshara Krishna Yatra Partho Danurdara Tatra Sri Vijayo Udir Dhruvan Nidir Madhari Mama Where there is Lord Krishna, Lord Krishna and Arjuna are Symbolic, it is a metaphor, symbolism, where the karma, the uh, ideology, the karma, etc., are depicted mm -hmm. in a very interesting manner. It is none other than our scripts that this meta aspect of human existence and extra human existence, Western world calls it external intelligence. It is a reductionistic term. What you all know, Harari has written is quoting from these Eastern Darshanas. Thank you very much. OK, thank you. Uh, I have shared his phone number. Uh, you can uh, copy and, and, and save it. Ji, uh, Colonel Sahib, you want to say something? Subhash Ji, we are connected with us, but can you unmute us? किसी और का कोई सवाल है कोई प्रश्न है कोई टिप्पणी है तो फिर हम उसको कंक्लूड करेंगे जी सर सुभाष जी जी देवदत्त जी प्लीज डॉक्टर देवदत्त जी डॉक्टर देवदत्त प्लीज अनम्यूट योरसेल्फ एंड देन आस्क द क्वेश्चन यस सर Thanks for giving me this opportunity. I will be very uh, really uh, to, uh, see this discussion. Yes, sir. <coughs> sir, I have uh, asked uh, one or two questions also put in comment box. Uh, that uh, is there any publication regarding this that uh, I could. Uh, uh, Gigi. Yes, sir. Any uh, publication link or conference proceeding link, something yeah, like yeah. that, that we can study extensively. Yeah. Please share in this. Okay. Uh, yes. I have yes, shared yes. the number in the chat box. You can yes, talk sir. to him directly. And, uh, yes, yes. Okay, sir. Gigi. Because I have uh, some research also in the quantum field and uh, as a enrolled researcher in quantum computing also. That's why I want to. Yes. Thank you. I will uh, contact directly to them. That will be wonderful. Yes, okay. So, okay, thanks. Uh, so, Subhashi, I want to ask you to do the final concluding comments. Kare. और उसके बाद जो है वो हम धन्यवाद की ओर चलेंगे और हमारे साथ डॉक्टर चित्रंजन दयाल जी जुड़े हुए हैं जो कि डायरेक्टर हैं संस्कृत अकादमी हरियाणा संस्कृत अकादमी के तो वो धन्यवाद ज्ञापन करेंगे जी कर्नल सुभाष जी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई मस्ट थैंक Every we find another phenomena we cannot have the same infinite mm. Mm. sir Avaz you know mm. uh, 
once we start moving towards those uh, characteristics, that is called. G. Press picture. G. सर आवाज जा रही है चलिए इस दौरान डॉक्टर रतन शर्मा जी हमारे साथ जुड़े हैं तो ही विशेष टू से समथिंग प्रश्न अभी ले लेते हैं और देख लेते हैं थोड़ा रतन शर्मा जी प्लीज अपने को अनम्यूट कर लीजिए जी 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 आई विल शेयर द डिटेल्स विद यू जी जी डॉक्टर रतन शर्मा यू विश टू से समथिंग अपने को अनम्यूट कर लीजिए रतन जी नहीं तो मैं डॉक्टर चित्रंजन जी को हाँ जी जी चलिए मैं डॉक्टर चित्रंजन दयाल सिंह जी कौशल जो कि डायरेक्टर हैं हरियाणा संस्कृत अकादमी के और उनसे मैं निवेदन करूंगा कि वो धन्यवाद ज्ञापन करें और इस सारे विषय के ऊपर अपनी बात संक्षिप्त में रखें और उसके बाद जो है और मैंने कर्नल डॉक्टर सुभाष चंद्र जी का फोन नंबर आप लोगों के साथ शेयर किया है चैट बॉक्स में और मैं दोबारा इसको शेयर करूंगा जो व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप है उसमें आप सभी के साथ शेयर करूंगा यू कैन टॉक टू हिम यू कैन डिस्कस फ्यू थिंग्स विद हिम एंड आल्सो डिस्कस अबाउट द प्रोजेक्ट्स यू विश टू टेक अप इन फ्यूचर ऑन दिस कर्मा एंड द एंटीना टेक्नोलॉजी ई टी सी सो चित्रंजन जी सबको सबसे पहले मेरा नमस्कार और मैं देरी से जुड़ा उसके लिए क्षमा याचना किंतु जितना भी मैंने सुना मुझे बहुत ही अच्छा लगा जो हमारे डॉक्टर आशुतोष अंगिरस जी सब विचारों को सब विद्वानों को जोड़ करके और पुरातन और नवीन ज्ञान और विज्ञान को जोड़ करके जो ये कार्यकलाप प्रारंभ कर रहे हैं इससे बड़ा ही समाधान मिलता है और नवाचार की ओर हमारा कदम अग्रसर होता है वो कहते हैं न कि आम खाने से मतलब है या पेड़ गिनने से सृष्टि किसने बनाई कैसे बनी वो सारा चिंतन चलता रहता है किंतु सारे चिंतन का लाभ ये है कि हमारी समस्याओं का समाधान होना चाहिए जो हमारा मानव जीवन है पारिवारिक जीवन है सामाजिक जीवन है राष्ट्रीय जीवन है वो हमारा स्वस्थ बने सुंदर बने और जिसके अंदर जो हमारी एक वैदिक ऋषियों की भावना है सुसह अस्तित्व वो हमारा चरितार्थ हो और हमें एक जीवन की धन्यता अनुभव हो और ये सारे जो ज्ञान और विज्ञान के प्रयास हैं वो हमारे चिंतन को एक दिशा देते हैं समाधान देते हैं और देखिए आप सब जानते ही हैं कि ये जो कर्म का सिद्धांत है ये भारतीय दर्शन का हिंदू दर्शन का बड़ा ही अद्भुत सिद्धांत है जो समाधान देता है हर दृष्टि से समाधान देता है ठीक है उसके साथ अब उसका मापन भी किया जा रहा है वैज्ञानिक दृष्टिकोण से ये बहुत ही अच्छा कदम है और इसका प्रचार प्रसार जितना अधिक होगा उतना मानवता को लाभ होगा व्यक्तिगत भी सामाजिक स्तर पर भी राष्ट्रीय स्तर पर भी और हम अपने जीवन को स्वस्थ सुंदर बना, बनाने के लिए अग्रसर होंगे किंतु वो जो एक वैचारिक चिंतन है कि भाई हम जो कर्म कर रहे हैं वो सारे हमारे क्रियमाण कर्म है करते जा रहे हैं और कोई कर्म हम कर्म करने में तो स्वतंत्र हैं किंतु कर्म के फल में परतंत्र हैं यही तो गीता का तत्व ज्ञान है भारतीय तत्व तत्व ज्ञान है कि हम सोच विचार कर कर्म करें कर्म करना हमारे अधीन है फिर उसके फल पाने में हम परतंत्र ही परतंत्र हैं वो जो यूनिवर्स है चाहे भगवान कहें चाहे चित्रगुप्त कहें वो उसका हमें परिणाम देने ही वाला है उसका परिणाम हमें भुगतना ही भुगतना पड़ेगा अवश्य में भोक्तव्यम कृतम कर्म शुभाशुभम और वो कहते हैं कि पुरुषार्थ और भाग्य इसका जो निरंतर एक विवाद चलता रहता है इसका भी समाधान इसी कर्म सिद्धांत के अंदर छिपा हुआ है कि जो भी हम कर्म करते हैं और वो संचित होते रहते हैं और जो संचित कर्म हमारे 
फल देने की ओर उन्मुख हो जाते हैं वो हमारे प्रारब्ध है उससे हम बच नहीं सकते अच्छा व्यक्ति भी लगता है कि कष्ट पा रहा है और बुरा व्यक्ति भी लगता है कि बुरा सुख पा रहा है तो ये जो कर्म का जो चक्र है ये बड़ा ही गुज है और इससे कोई बच नहीं सकता इसलिए क्या हमारे हाथ में हमारे हाथ में है अपने हिस्से का कर्तव्य कर्म करना इसीलिए बार बार यही कहा जाता है कि उस प्रभु को स्मरण करते हुए हम जीवन के समरांगण के अंदर कर्म क्षेत्र के अंदर अपने युद्ध स्तर के ऊपर मामन उस युद्ध च हम घबराए नहीं लाइफ इज स्ट्रगल वी हैव टू फेस इट और हम उसका सामना करें आंखें मिला करके और ये जो विज्ञान है क्वांटम फिजिक्स का कर्म सिद्धांत से अंतर संबंध जो बताया है आज बड़ा ही अद्भुत और एंटीना इंजीनियरिंग से कर्म निकाह निराकरण ये तो कमाल ही कर दिया आपने ये तो आज तक कहीं सुना नहीं हमने और आप बता रहे हैं तो इसमें सच्चाई है हम तो विश्वास करते हैं इस बात पर क्योंकि ये सारी चीजें शुरू से हैं किंतु उसका वैज्ञानिक दृष्टि से मापन और एक उचित सामाजिक स्तर पर प्रयोग इसका मानवता के लिए उपयोग इसका और प्रयोग उसको बढ़ाने की आवश्यकता है और ये जो हमारा अंगेरस जी का उपक्रम है वेद व्यास संस्कृति योजना है ये जो ये इसकी ओर कदम बढ़ा रही है सबको जोड़ करके ज्ञान विज्ञान के प्रसार के माध्यम से हम संस्कृत शास्त्रों के अंदर संस्कृत ग्रंथों के अंदर जो चीजें दी हुई हैं अद्भुत उसको समझने के अंदर ये जो आधुनिक ज्ञान विज्ञान है वो भी उसमें हमें बहुत ही अधिक सहायता कर रहा है ये सारा मैं जो निष्कर्ष आज की चर्चा सुनी और प्रश्नोत्तर सुना और इसमें जो हमारे मुख्य वक्ता रहे कर्नल सुभाष जी डॉक्टर भारद्वाज जी डॉक्टर रतन शर्मा जी डॉक्टर प्रोफेसर सदानंद जी मोहन मोटो जी देवदत्त जी और भी सारे विद्वान जो जुड़े रहे जिन्होंने इसमें सहभागिता की चाहे मौन रह करके की किंतु सब वो ग्रहण कर रहे हैं और इस प्रयास की सार्थकता भी इसी में है कि हम इस चर्चा से ग्रहण करें और उसको फिर आगे वितरित करें और मैं पुनः अपनी ओर से और संस्थान की ओर से भी और अकेडमी की ओर से भी संस्कृत प्रकोष्ठ की ओर से भी हरियाणा साहित्य एवं संस्कृत अकादमी की ओर से आपका सबका बहुत आभार व्यक्त करता हूं और ये अवसर बार बार हमें मिलता रहे और हम लाभान्वित हों समाज को लाभान्वित करें ज्ञान विज्ञान की परंपरा निरंतर आगे चलती रहे वादे वादे जाए थे तत्वबोध धन्यवाद नमस्कार धन्यवाद डॉक्टर साहब इससे पहले कि हम इस सभा को पूर्ण करें परिचर्चा को यहीं पे पूर्ण करें एक और विचार मेरे मन में आया और डॉक्टर सुभाष जी से मैं जरूर इस पे अलग से चर्चा भी करूंगा और प्रोफेसर मोहन जी और कौल साहब हमारे साथ जुड़े हुए थे कि कश्मीर शैव दर्शन में जो आड़व मल माइक मल और कार मल ये तीन प्रकार के मल हैं उनको भी देखने और समझने के लिए हम एंटीना टेक्नोलॉजी को कैसे यूज कर सकते हैं और उनको किस तरह से हम न्यूट्रलाइज कर सकते हैं एंटीना टेक्नोलॉजी से उस कॉन्सेप्ट को भी इस संदर्भ में समझने की कोशिश करेंगे और मैं अलग से इस विषय पे बात करूंगा लेकिन सुभाष जी सर अगर आपने इस विषय पे सुना हो कभी कि काश्मीर शैविजम में ये तीन प्रकार के मल माने जाते हैं हम लोगों के तो अगर इस पे कुछ कमेंट करें तो फिर हम समाप्त करेंगे अभी आपसे थोड़ी क्लैरिफिकेशन लूंगा और फिर मैं, मैं उनके ऊपर रिसर्च करूंगा और उनकी ढूंढूंगा फिर उसके बाद आई विल गेट बैक टू यू ऑन दिस दिस नो प्रॉब्लम वी कैन सर्च वेवलेंथ एंड बिकॉज दैट इज एनर्जी बाई इट्स वॉट यू आर आस्किंग मी ए क्वेश्चन ऑन एनर्जी अवर एम इज टू आइडेंटिफाई दोल मैनर राइट 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 अच्छा दूसरा एक दो और पॉइंट थे जी जी प्लीज एक तो जो देखिए गॉड ऑफ माइटी वो वो हो जाएगा अदर ऑफ दिस यूनिवर्स लाइक ए फादर ऑफ दी तो ही ओनली मेक्स रूल्स एंड रेगुलेशन हाउ दी कॉस्मिक लॉज कॉस्मिक sources and the universe has to function and if somebody follows the laws ji yeah. is rewarded if he doesn't follow the laws he is punished and all these rewards and punishments which will may take place in future are stored in the ji okay. 
analogies from the DNA as a cosmic loss. And if you जी जी We can follow as many as possible. My friend was saying that karma to bhukta nahi padte hai. Bhai karma to bhukta nahi padte hai. Sabko even their animals also they have. You know, go through this cycle of getting desired. Fruits, yeah. whether negative or positive, whatever it is, but this is applicable to living beings like animals and human beings. Animal being to karma me ja raha hai, human being bhi ja raha hai. But human being has been yeah. given an extra talent by Supreme Energy God Almighty as a part of the system that he can. So, uh, some people will say it's written in scriptures. And we are trying to make it more technologically permitted, yeah, yeah. so that the yeah. man can either nullify, mitigate, or upgrade his karma and yeah. follow like animals does it. Otherwise, animals are the kind of life man, so nobody stops it. Okay. Right. Yes, 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 yes. You are right, sir. Any other question? No, I think uh, we don't have any any other question now. But I have a suggestion for Dr. Chaitaranjan Ji. Yes, yes. Doctor, these are the new slavery sets designed by NEP. If you have a question about the Karam Shastra or Istra, then you have a question. तो उसके प्रैक्टिकल एस्पेक्ट में क्यों नहीं हम ये एंटीना टेक्नोलॉजी को उसमें इंट्रोड्यूस करते हैं स्टूडेंट्स को वो प्रैक्टिकली बहुत कुछ कर सकते हैं कर... बिल्कुल बिल्कुल इसकी ना इसकी इसकी जो आपने शुरुआत की है ना ये वहां तक पहुंचेगी और हम लोग ही पहुंचाएंगे इसका थोड़ा सा ना दस पंद्रह पेज का ऐसा हो जो हम इसको लार्ज स्केल पर प्रिंट करा के टीचर्स को दें बच्चों को दें वर्कशॉप लगाएं ये होगा ये कर नहीं है इसे बोलते हैं नवाचार इसी को नवाचार संस्कृत का जो व्यवहारिक पक्ष अप्लाइड आपका तो संस्थान ही यही अप्लाइड वाला जी नहीं जी मैं चाहूंगा कि आ, अगर एकेडमी की ओर से करना साहब को जो, जो आप कहेंगे ना जो आप कहे वही हो जाएगा अकेडमी वाले चाहते हैं ये हो किंतु इसकी दृष्टि जो आपको है ना विद्वानों को है वो दृष्टि एकेडमी को आपने देनी है हम तो मैं तो खुद जाता हूँ हर जगह यही चर्चा करता हूँ अभी मैंने ये आपके स्लाइड में बार बार देख रहा हूँ वो मैंने सार निकाल लिया उनका और वहां पर जो बताना है भारतीय ज्ञान विज्ञान परंपरा वो आपके इससे से ही बतानी है मैंने चीज क्या है ये जो आपका कार्य है ना इसको हम व्यवहारिक रूप दे अभी ये रूप नर्सरी से ये चीज बताई जानी चाहिए कि भारतीय ज्ञान विज्ञान की मतलब ये रेगुलर कोर्स का हिस्सा होना चाहिए कम से कम बीए लेवल पे जो है ना संस्कृत के बच्चों को तो जरूर एंटीना टेक्नोलॉजी सिखानी सिखानी चाहिए बट एनी वे चलिए इसको करेंगे वो तो टीचर को सिखाएंगे तो टीचर आगे सिखा देंगे क्योंकि ये ना प्रैक्टिकल का अप्लाइड का जोड़ा हुआ है नई शिक्षा नीति में अप्लाइड का बहुत कुछ भाग जोड़ा हुआ है प्रैक्टिकल का बहुत जोड़ा हुआ है उसमें इसको हम ले सकते हैं हम लोग उसमें आ सकते हैं सर अगर ऑफलाइन क्लासेस भी हैं तो आई कैन कम देयर एंड जनरल साहब भी आ सकते हैं एंड समथिंग वंडरफुल कैन हैपन बिल्कुल बिल्कुल वी विल प्रोवाइड यू डेफिनेटली वी नीड योर ब्लेसिंग्स हां करेंगे डॉक्टर करेंगे आशुतोष जी एंड वी विल लर्न मेनी थिंग्स फ्रॉम यू जी जी मैं टेल यू वन थिंग मोर प्रोफेसर आशुतोष जी मैं मैं एक और ऐड भी करना चाहता हूं छोटा मोटा See, yeah, the yeah. karmic aspect is one which can be introduced in a Sanskrit, uh, you know, yeah. syllabus, etc. Right. Handy, handy. Other, in that, lifestyle management can also come. But whereas right. the for environment building and this is it is very much required for uh, you know architects, interior designers, civil engineers. So if yeah. some engineering colleges yeah. can be made to join that, so that we can explain them. 
डेफिनेटली नेशनल इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी वो आपकी काफी इस दृष्टि से जी जी हम इसको कोशिश करेंगे डॉक्टर इसको थोड़ा परस्यू करूंगा मैं डॉक्टर सदानंद जी आई वुड लाइक टू एड जस्ट टू थ्री सेंटेंसेस आफ्टर हियरिंग द डिस्कशन इन आइसोलेशन पोस्ट प्रेजेंटेशन आई आई फेल्ट दैट रिसर्च शुड बी डन बेस्ड ऑन भारतीय दर्शन फाइंडिंग्स एंड असम्पन एंड टेनेट्स एंड वाट नॉट not only in the theoretical aspect but also in the uh, practical aspect for example i was talking about cognition and metacognition and that metacognitive okay. capacity how to achieve it is very clearly described in uh, the scripts in the darshana in some of the languages in uh, especially sanskrit malayalam etc okay. and that comes under the pragmatic aspects of how to practice to achieve the metacognition and that is under the following terminologies how right. it to be done it is there it is described and you may be might have heard about the yatna which was conducted in kerala called panyal uh, yatna panyal panyal is the name of the village and there one yatna was conducted uh, to mm. achieve such a status and to bring in certain physical uh, facilities for the people of that village and it was okay. a successful uh, thing it was reported in the newspapers at that time so the terminologies under which the pragmatics are described are called vrada vradam or vrada anushthana mandra tandra and nishta nishta is the last thing but not the least it is the most important thing professor uh, kanal sahab was describing about lifestyle and lifestyle change it is achieved through the nishta nishta <laughs> is not a simple thing it is a complicated affair and there are right. guidelines hmm. it should be guided by a guru thank you right ji thank you sir thank you dhanyawad uh, may i say something to you see i have never read a Any scriptures? Yeah. May I tell you, um, uh, Professor Anand, I have never read any scripture. Yeah. I am basically an engineer. I know what is happening in life, day to day life, and in order to undo and solve the problems of human beings, I entered. First, I entered because I was almost on a deathbed. Yeah. P D P D is called. P A D periphery artery disease, in which my all the periphery arteries which are sending the blood to limbs, were gradually getting blocked. When I checked up its background, as I said, one thousand years ago, it entered my DNA. That time, a thousand years ago, I was not a human being. I was an animal that to a horse. and i killed some people with my legs and my toes got stuck with that karma and till today i had that problem and now i am in a position to remove from the physical and then 500 years ago it entered uh, my cells and almost 300 ago it entered my dna when i was born i had this problem which was not apparent because it was hardly 10% but at the in 204 it started showing uh, symptoms okay to old age phenomena hai utar raha hai ye rahasya hai aapne to kamal kar diya thande pair ho rahe hain bhai bhai it was a fatal disease if this antenna within one second i can tell you i i can see your photo i can tell you whether you have a fatal disease in your body and if so in what organ okay. and whether that fatal disease can right. be removed if so by what may see it need this needs further validation yeah 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 by some more researchers 
uh, the, 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 I'm ready for the research work. Uh, whatever information Mr. Anand was asking, if you can give me uh, detailed information needed, I'll try to start working on the research of that. Because mm -hmm. I have never heard even Bhagavad Gita, you will be surprised, but I have heard. I keep hearing on, uh, so to say, TV, various shlokas and all that. But I have not read. I was a Did. military man. I was a professional after I, I left army almost 40 years ago. So I am trying to reverse. I hope by next year you will see me in a very young, uh, young face. Yes, we really I'm wish to see you young. <laughs> no, no, I want to, no, this is a research work. Not that I want to be young or something like that. The, the, uh, God Almighty never made anybody sick or uh, unhealthy or old. It is you and I are uh, uh, the problem. Responsible. Mm, yes. But this, thing is all, is all, this is all achievable with the name. This is what Anand said. 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 This uh, the domain may dalna hai. Yes. So whatever uh, you need from me, I'm ready to give. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, Thank yes. you, sir. Thank you so much. Let you, if the children know about that, look, what you sow, so shall you reap at the young age. His behavior will be different from what you have today. Right. I need to see kya hai? Unemployment kya hai? Right. See, the people are not you. You got to inculcate skills, not okay. the, uh, knowledge. Knowledge. A person may be intelligent, but if he's not intellectual, he's a useless person. Mm. Now, yeah. how a person? How do you make a person intellectual? Yeah. Can we can right. we realign his energies? Can the parents realign his energies? Yeah. Or he himself can do it if he's interested. See, somebody, mm -hmm. many people say, if, see, whatever your performance, you're even thinking today is as a result of the information in the DNA. Mm -hmm. You say negative energy, ke, the positive thinking, ke upar lecture de do, but how mm -hmm. can you become a positive when there is a negative energy stored in the DNA? Yes. 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 May introduce कर सकें B.A. level के courses में तो ये बहुत अच्छा रहेगा और आप लोगों से सहमति लेकर के और discuss करके इसको proposal बनाते हैं। Okay, जी. thank you so much. I am ready to you. Thank you so much, sir. और आप सभी का बहुत-बहुत आभार, धन्यवाद। आप सब लोग हमारे साथ जुड़े और इस चर्चा में भाग लिया और हमारी दृष्टि का भी विस्तार किया और विचार को सूक्ष्म भी किया। और कुछ समझ में आया कि बातें चाहे हमें अपेरेंटली बहुत अलग-अलग लगती हैं लेकिन मूलतः वो अपने आप में जुड़ी हुई हैं वो चाहे विश्व की हो ब्रह्मांड की हो या वो व्यक्ति की हो तो आज की इस चर्चा के लिए आप सबका बहुत-बहुत आभार विशेष रूप से कर्नल डॉक्टर सुभाष चंद्र जी का डॉक्टर चांद जी का और जितने भी साथियों ने इसमें प्रतिभागिता की है सुना है और कहा है उसका हम ध्यान रखेंगे और कोशिश करेंगे कि हम दोबारा इसके ऊपर एक और चर्चा रखें ज्यादा विस्तार पूर्वक ताकि हम इसको जो है वो एकेडमिक डिस्कोर्स का हिस्सा बना सकें तो धन्यवाद बहुत-बहुत आभार और अगली बार अगले हफ्ते फिर मिलते हैं अगली चर्चाओं के लिए फिर बात करेंगे थैंक यू धन्यवाद धन्यवाद Thank you very Thank much. You. Both, both. Thank anyway. you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thanks. Can I leave? Ji, 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 sir. Thank you so much. Ravindra Kumar Gupta ji ko namaskar vishesh roop se. Aaj.